Could Seattle Seahawks perennial pro bowler Russell Wilson join the long list of all-time great quarterbacks to switch teams in the middle of his prime? The Seahawks and Wilson have undergone intense contract negotiation over these past few years, so it's no wonder that his name continuously pops up in trade rumors. In the 2015 offseason, Wilson signed a four-year $87.6 million extension only weeks before the regular season. Then the time eventually came for a new deal in 2019, and the Seahawks finally awarded their franchise signal caller with a four your deal worth 140 million dollars and yet the wilson trade speculation won't go away in may 2020 chris sims of pro football talk dropped quite the bombshell claiming that the seahawks offered wilson to the cleveland browns for the first overall selection in 2018 of course cleveland wound up selecting baker mayfield with that pick instead Sims' colleague, Mike Florio, was able to confirm with a source that the Browns floated the trade idea regarding Wilson. Nothing ever came to be, however. And don't forget that in the early stages of the 2018 season, Jason LaConfora of CBS Sports reported that multiple GMs believed Wilson could land a trio of first-round picks in a potential trade. So, the Seahawks and Wilson have been involved in two tense contract talks that took longer than expected to get resolved. He's been brought up in multiple trade rumors before. These Seahawks, like the New England Patriots, are not afraid to move on from a superstar or two. So if the Seahawks were to trade Wilson, which team makes the most sense? Take a look around the league, and the Chicago Bears look like the most logical landing spot for Russ. No matter what the Bears coaches and front office personnel say, Mitch Trubisky won't be the answer. And the organization is clearly ready to move on from him. Why did they trade for Nick Foles again? And speaking of Foles, is he really a long-term solution for their quarterback problems? Even if Foles performs well in Chicago, you can't tell us the Bears would rather have him over Wilson. Why settle for good when you can aim for great? Wilson isn't one of those quarterbacks that needs the right coach and system to succeed. He's done so much with only a handful of offensive weapons around him. His O-line is always horrible, and Doug Baldwin might be the best receiver he's ever had. Many thought Wilson was a game manager, with Marshawn Lynch and the Legion of Boom anchoring the team. What'd you say yesterday when Russell Wilson can just wheel and deal? Yeah, and because if they can't run the ball, he's ineffective. If they can't run the ball, he can't play real quarterbacks. Uh, he, he's not capable of it, so they have to run the ball. But even with Beast Mode gone and a much different defense in place, the Seahawks are still relevant today because of Wilson. Imagine Wilson running an offense with Allen Robinson, Tariq Cohen, David Montgomery, and Anthony Miller, and hey, he'd even be reunited with former Seahawks teammate Jimmy Graham. They ranked first and fourth in scoring defense during the 2018 and 2019 seasons respectively. Adding a legitimate superstar quarterback to that roster would make Chicago the team to beat in the NFC North, hands down. So what would be the cost to add a quarterback in the middle of his prime? Lock and Forest suggested three first round picks. That might be a bit ambitious on Seattle's end, but certainly two firsts and another early round selection. The Bears sacrificed a ton of draft capital to land Khalil Mack. If they're willing to give up two firsts, a third, and a sixth for a defensive player, they can do it again for a franchise-changing quarterback. So the projected cost? The Bears' 2021 and 2022 first rounders plus a third round pick for Wilson. The Seahawks would have enough capital to move up and take their QB of the future, and the Bears wouldn't have to worry about drafting another quarterback bust for a while. The Seahawks are seemingly treating Wilson the same way the Patriots treated Tom Brady. No matter how much he's done for the team, they're not afraid to move on from him. And if they ever do, this type of deal with the Bears makes too much sense not to happen. Do you think the Bears will trade for Russell Wilson? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton, and hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.